full face. I never, I never forget getting this helmet. Obviously, I had to have the flames trying to be like Chris Kavarik and uh, all the old school mojo suspension stickers. It even caused like my first ever bit of graphic design, I guess, back in school when I cut out my own initials on the vinyl machine. But yeah, some good memories racing and that. All the things I use for like my graphic design, my day job, I can just use my one hand. I'm not restricted. Um, if I'm out in the garage fabricating stuff, it can get quite tricky at times with just the one hand. I don't have any of those restrictions when I'm in the software. I'm in a 3D world. I can make the most complex shapes and then I can print them. Yeah, it was, it was really early on that I realised that products are not designed for people who have got one working hand and even more frustratingly, most of the time not for lefties. Um, so that's another thing is I was right-handed before my accident, so I've had to learn how to write with my left hand. Um, that took quite a while to be fair. But I, I count myself really lucky. Um, you know, I live in a world with smartphones uh, and access to technology, so I just kind of made use of technology the best I could. Um, and yeah, there, there are still things which are really difficult to do. Um, but like I approach my riding, there's usually a way um, to make it work for me. I literally got my mum to stitch some Velcro to a this glove um, and I put Velcro straight to the metal handlebar and just strapped my hand to it, um, which is a really bad idea. And when I got to the bottom of the hill, there was a lot of blood. I get a lot of satisfaction from overcoming these problems. Um, and I guess maybe that's something which has really helped me is I've, I've learned to enjoy the process. Um, almost as much as the end result. And I think that's a big part of where I'm at now, actually. So I studied interactive media and towards the end of my course I um, looked into wearable technology. Um, just I found it fascinating, like cyborgs, all that kind of thing, and how you could make the most out of your body. Um, and little did I know that actually that could come in really useful.